breathe in deeply. Allow yourself to relax, starting with your ankles and feet. Tense them and then release the energy. Next, do this with your legs. Tense them for three seconds. And then release. Now, tense your hips. Hold for three seconds. and then release. Now tense your stomach muscles. And release. Your chest. And release. your shoulders and release your arms and hands release your neck and release your face and release the tension out of the top of your head. Now see yourself on an old dirt road. There is nothing but ice and snow around you, but you do not feel cold at all. You feel surrounded by a warmth that comes from within. Though it is a quiet road, you can hear the sounds of birds and animals in the low shrubs at the sides of the path. You see that the shrubs are coated with the dusting of snow and ice. It is peaceful here. You feel comfortable and at ease. You then notice a crow sitting on a low-hanging branch. It is watching you, its head cocked to the side, as if waiting to decide on how it feels about you. You smile at the bird and say hello. The bird seems to acknowledge you and in a rush of feathers takes off into the air. You watch as it flies high into the cold winter sky that is illuminated by the full moon. You think it has flown far away, but then you see it flying back towards you, calling to you, and it, you realize that it is beckoning for you 
to follow. You follow the black feathered guide along the path. You can hear the crunch of ice and snow under your feet. And you feel excited about your adventure that you are embarking on. The path seems to go on for a while. And the crow continues to call to you. You know you are supposed to follow it. It feels right. You continue along the path and take in the surroundings. The trees and bushes are silhouetted in the moonlight. The branches seem to reach out to you like old friends. You do not feel fear along this path. Soon you see the bird perch up ahead. You are still behind the bird, so you take time to reach the goal. Here you see the bird is sitting on what looks like to be a post in the middle of the road. At this post, the road branches into two different paths, one to the left and one to the right. You look down both paths, but do not have any clue as to where they lead or which one to take. As you ponder this, a crow watches you, waiting for you to decide. Then you notice that the post that the bird is sitting on is a signpost. You read the sign and see that one direction points to spiritual fulfillment and the other one points to emptiness. The road to emptiness is clear and free, but the road to spiritual fulfillment is full of debris and seems to be uneven and a bit scary. You are not sure what to do, so you ask the bird what it is that you are needing to do. Slowly the bird flies down from its perch and flutter of feathers transforms into the goddess Hecate. She smiles at you and opens her arms to embrace you. She says, You are not alone on your journey, my child. Not ever. I am always here for you, to help you and assist you in any way you need. But you have to reach out and ask before I can give you any aid. The path to spiritual fulfillment is not an easy one to take. It is full of obstacles that are not easy to get past alone. But it is possible.
You ask why it is so difficult and why the obstacles are there. You put them there, child. You have made things more difficult for yourself because you have held on to things in your life that you have created. You made your path a difficult one. But if you remove the obstacles as you come to them, you will be better for it. You look at the first obstacle in your path, and it looks like a very heavy branch. You go to move it out of the way, but you are finding that you are struggling to lift it. Try and try as you might, the branch will not move. With frustration, you turn back to Hecate, and you feel defeated. Some of the obstacles will be easier to deal with than others. Some you cannot remove on your own. You have to have help with those. But, in order to receive help with an obstacle that you cannot move on your own, you have the, to do the difficult thing and ask for help. Help doesn't just show up when you need it. You have to actively ask for help. So you stand before the obstacle again and state out loud, I need assistance, please. I need assistance, please. I need assistance, please. Out of the woods you hear a noise, and you see a large elephant. It seems very surreal in this environment. But soon you realize that it is the god Ganesh in the form of an elephant. He lifts the large branch out of the way and removes it from your path. You thank the god Ganesh for his assistance as he retreats back into the woods. See, it is just that easy. Many things we can overcome ourselves, but sometimes we need to ask for help. It can be scary to do, and it is not always easy to ask for. You just need to remember you are never alone on your path. There are those who are here to help you out. So remember to ask, and those obstacles you have created for yourself will start to be removed. You promise to remember to ask for help when you need help with removing obstacles. 
it makes you feel more confident and secure knowing that there will be help if you take time to ask for it. Now take a time to ask for any help or ask any questions of what you need to do from Hecate. Ask her what obstacles are coming up for you that you should be aware of and listen to what she has to tell you. Now it is time for you to go back. Your journey down the path of spiritual fulfillment will not be walked in one day. You will need to return to it from time, and each time you clear something, you will find the path clearer and easier to walk the next time you go through. Only remove one obstacle at a time. If we try to do more than one, we burn ourselves out and cannot travel anymore. You thank the goddess and you promise to return again soon to continue clearing your path. You return to the path home and notice that Hectate has returned to her crow form. You follow her back along the path home. Watching the branches of the ice-covered trees as they wave goodbye to you. As you are walking, you notice that the snow and ice has started to melt away a little, and you start to see bits of green poking through the white patches. New life is beginning, as if giving you a sign that the world is awakening just as you are. Before you know it, you are back where you began. The crow, who you know now is Hectate, is perched on her branch where you first saw her. She nods in approval, and with a call takes off in a flutter of black feathers and you smile as she departs. Slowly, your body starts to feel conscious again. Allow the feeling to return to your head.
Feel your energy flowing back into your neck. your shoulders, arms and fingers, chest and hips, legs, and toes and flowing out of your feet. Allow yourself time to awaken and you breathe in and exhale out. 